these are three things you must get away from your house if you want to be successful three things you need to get away from your house if you want to succeed in life you are welcome back to our channel afro natural where we discuss natural health natural beauty and natural care in this video i'm going to be showing you three things three good things that you must get away from your house these three things are things that brings you down that bring setbacks to your life they bring lack of progress they are not making you to progress they are not making you to succeed you might be wondering why despite all your effort things are not working the way you expected they might be due to these three things and these three things anytime you see them the best thing is to get rid of them i'm going to be showing you what you need to do to get rid of these things and i'm going to be showing you the three things that you need to get rid of i'm going to be telling you simple things little things about all these uh things and why you need to get rid of them now let's get into it properly the three things you need to get away from your house is number one cockroach cockroach the number two cobweb cobweb the number three you need to get rid of wall deco wall deco now let's look at them the first one cockroach cockroach is an insect but it's not just an insect it represents spiritual setback it sets you back apart from that it's also a poison is poisonous when they infect your food they can poison you they cause a lot of problems for you in the house but most of all they are cause the number one cause of negativity and anywhere you have negativity there cannot be progress you cannot progress now the second one cobweb cobweb is a serious spiritual attack the enemies attack you with cobwebs they attack you in different ways with cobwebs sometimes you'll be walking on the road and you see cobwebs covering your face it might be in your house it might be in your office maybe your store you want to enter your store the, the the store that you just clean down but the next moment you see cobweb everywhere they are just spiritual setback the enemies use this a lot to set you back there is no way if you are having spiritual cobweb it's either you are in bad health if you are not in bad health you'll be in debt they put you in debt and if not in debt you will not progress you just realize that customers are not coming if you, are, if you are in the office, promotion will not come. Then good things will be eluding you. A lot of people will be uh, running away from you. They can use, enemies use spiritual uh, cobwebs in different ways to attack you. And it's also another source of spiritual negativity. So whenever you see it, you have to do this, which I'm going to be telling you after this in a while. Now, the third one, what gecko? What gecko is the most deadly? It's very po it's a reptile. It's very poisonous. It's very poisonous. Whenever you see it, you have to quickly do this thing I'm going to be telling you in a while. But it needs a lot of spiritual warfare. They face you with what gecko. If you see what gecko everywhere in your house, it's also a source of monitoring spirit. They monitor you, the enemies monitor you and attack you with this war gecko and the most important is that it's very poisonous if it infects your food if it gets in contact with your food it can kill the essence of war gecko you see war gecko a lot in your house you have to make sure you get rid of them and what to do i'm going to be showing you in a short while some cultures says you should not do anything to war gecko some cultures don't believe that you should destroy it or do anything to it, that you have to leave it. But I'm telling you, what gecko 
is a monitoring, it is, 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 is a spiritual monitoring spirit. It monitors your life. The enemies use it specifically to monitor you. Whatever you are doing, you'll be surprised. How can I do something in my house? The next day, <laughs> you are seeing another thing. Because these things monitor you and they report to you. And the enemies use it to attack you. Sometimes you sleep, you see them beside you on the bed. You'll be surprised. Because they are using it for a specific purpose. So if you, once you see it from now, once you see it, you must try to get rid of it. Now, what are you going to be doing to get rid of these three things? The cockroach. To get rid of cockroach, there are so many ways of getting rid of cockroach. Because cockroach itself means dirtiness. You know, cockroach stay in a damp place. But in some places when it is not damp, you see cockroach, cockroaches everywhere. Then you know that this is a problem. You have to get rid of it at all. So what you can do is simple. It's simple. I've done a video showing you what you can do. I'm going to be linking that video for you here. What you can do. One, you have to do cleansing. You cleanse the environment. You cleanse the environment. You can do uh, soft cleansing. Or you can also do, you can burn some incense to get rid of all of cockroaches in your house. Then you can even buy uh, insecticide to do this. There are some insects that are fiber form and there are some that are in gas form. You can just put it in your house. Make sure you don't see it. Then you have to continue to do it from time to time so that you won't notice them again. If you don't do it uh, from time to time, you see them coming back in a short while. So you have to get rid of them. Then cobwebs. I've also done a video showing you how to get rid of cobweb. I'm going to be linking that for you here so that you can watch that after this video. You watch that after this video. So you get rid of work echo, I mean cobwebs, and they will never attack you. Cleansing will also do, especially when you do incense burning cleansing. You can burn camphor, you can burn uh, cloths. All this will get rid of uh, cobwebs in your life. There are so many other things you can do. Like I said, I'm going to be linking it for you all and put it in the description. Then, the third one, how to get rid of war gecko. Before telling you what how to get rid of war gecko, I want you to go to the description and tell me which of these things are in your own that you feel are disturbing you. Go to the comment and tell me and let us know how you get rid of them. We are all here to learn. All of us will learn. Go to the comment and comment. Just tell us what you feel the things uh one of the any of the things that is troubling you let us know and let us also know how you get rid of them now how do you get rid of uh war gecko if you see war gecko in your home like i said just try and make sure you get it and kill it just kill it once you kill it then make sure if it is more than one kill it make sure you kill that one and try to kill the others then also do cleansing you burn incense. You burn it very well so that it gets away. You can also do fumigation with some chemicals to get rid of it. Anything that you feel that will help you better to get rid of one gecko, try to do it. Because like I tell you, it's a monitor spirit and it's not even good for you. Don't leave them. Don't give them a chance to stay in your home. Because one, they can get, they can give uh, baths to uh, offspring and you see many of them walking freely. You put your food, they'll put their mouth, which is poisonous. So try to get rid of it and don't let them monitor your spirit again. These three things, if you can get rid of them, do these things I've told you, I've told you, then make sure you watch the video to get rid of get rid of them. Then you will see, you notice your life getting better. Things will start working for you, things will start improving. You won't have setbacks again in your life. If you want to see how to do cleansing properly on how to get rid of all these things that I've mentioned, then watch this video here.